do you get nervous before matches like this? No, I don't really get nervous. I used to back in my younger days, you know, like, but I can always recall if I'm training hard coming up to a big final or any big game at all, and I can always recall that I'm do if I'm doing in training and I'm confident I can do it in the on the day. And because you've been in this position before, it well, gets easier, does it? That that helps too when you have the experience of uh, the the big days before, like, and we just it becomes more of a normal occurrence and it h helps settle it, the whole thing, like. But uh, I would have to say the training is the bigger part if you know that you have it in the in the locker, like uh, you have nothing to be nervous about. Is there any difference between this year and the last two? Not really, no, we're just going for a final, we want to win it and we prepare the same way as the la last two years. Obviously from the outside people are looking and assuming Donegal are going to win and we wouldn't really buy into that as long as we train hard, put it in for the next few nights of training, uh, it wouldn't really affect us. And you seem to cope fairly comfortably to the outsider anyway with the level of expectation and pressure which is around not just the county but around the country. Ah uh, yeah, like, I, I hate repeating myself, like, but it just all comes back to how how we perceive ourselves in, in our own crowd, like what we what it goes on in the media or what goes on outside of the circle, we can't really affect. But all we can do is how we train, how we live our lives, how what food we eat. That's the only thing we can control, you know. And um, we just worry about what we can control. It doesn't bug you, does it? The 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 level of hype and scrutiny. No, it doesn't bug me. People ask me, like, we go back to the infamous Dublin game, did it bug you all the abuse you got afterwards? And I have to say it didn't really bug me. We never broke any rules. We just played the system. We reviewed it. We went back to how could we improve. We went on then and we did improve. We went on to one the All-Ireland and people were putting us up on this pedestal. It was more a compliment to us and more a compliment to the way Jim prepared us. And uh, it d didn't really annoy us, as I say, it just as long as we can train the way we want to. Do you think you've changed as people the last couple of years, given all that you've achieved and all that's happened? Yeah, I, th I think so. That A lot of us are more more mature now, definitely. Like We we, we view sport, we view, view our fit, football in a whole totally different light, you know, and even in some aspects of our life. It's just a whole different how we approach things. Like, are we going to just partake in something, maybe give 70%? Or if you really want to go out of property, you give a hundred percent, you know, like, and that's instead of just getting by, you, you go at it, you go at it a hundred percent. The Monaghan team have the Hughes brothers, the Donegal team have the McGee brothers. One of the iconic Ulster Championship images so far was Stephen O'Neill trying to shoulder your brother Neil, and the way Neil dispossessed Benny Coulter in the semi-final, is he as strong as he looks? Ah, yeah, it's a bit embarrassing when I go into the gym with him now. <laughs> he's benching, and I'm just, uh, I'll stay away from the bench when he's beside it, but because uh, we have to take off loads of weights. Uh, Neil works hard in that part of the game, you know, people just think he's a big brute, Nick, but he he, he has the, the football too, and uh, he's probably in the form of his life, you know, he's the best fullback in, in the country, and uh, it'll be a good battle, you know, and hopefully we'll get another shot at one of the Hugheses. And now there's the McHugh brothers on the panel as well. So there's a lot of little pairings developing. Do you give them advice? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to give them advice. They'll not listen to you now. But uh, uh, obviously, if, if we're, we're there, if they want a bit of a advice in terms of life and football. Do you feel as ready for this Ulster final as you did for the previous two? Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel that we've prepared well. There's a few boys injured coming up to the down game. They've got a few, uh, a few weeks' preparation. And I'd be be confident that, and I'd be happy with where we're at, in uh, terms of fitness and in terms of football, and we d how we deliver the game plan. Jim sets out for us. And do you think you're a better team now than you have been in any of the previous two years? I would say so. Yeah, I look I look at training, you know, and obviously we struggled struggled with injuries, but uh, I would ha safely say that we're more confident and we've that bit more belief, and we have the training. A few years behind us, so I'd be happy with where we're at, yeah.